Accentra Health is the beneficiary and family-centered care quality improvement organization, also known as a QIO, for the 29 states listed on this map. If a person with Medicare receives care in one of these states, he or she may file an appeal with the QIO, even if that person lives in another state. When hospital services are coming to an end, the patient or representative in some cases will receive a form called the important message from Medicare if the patient is in an acute setting, which also includes acute rehabilitation. If the patient is in a post-acute setting, such as a skilled nursing facility or receiving home health care, he or she will receive a form called the Notice of Medicare Non-Coverage when the last skilled service is being stopped. Both forms will provide information on how to file an appeal with the QIO. Once the appeal has been filed, the QIO will send a request to the facility with the appeal and will ask for the patient's medical records. The facility has a certain time frame that they have to send the medical records along. If they do not send them within that time frame, the QIO will allow the patient to continue with medical services. If they send a portion of the medical records and do not include everything the QIO needs, the QIO will close the appeal with the patient continuing with medical services. Providers even have to send the medical records on the weekends and holidays because appeals are processed 365 days a year. Once the medical records are received, they are reviewed by a doctor who is experienced with the Medicare guidelines. The QIO's doctors are also board certified and still treating patients an average of 20 hours per week. That doctor will determine whether the patient is ready to move to a lower level of care, such as skilled nursing facility or home with home health care services. A patient does not have to be fully recovered to have their services end. They may be able to receive them in another facility. For example, a patient may not be sick enough to need hospital care, but still may need care in a skilled nursing facility, or a patient in skilled nursing facility may be able to go home with home health. After the doctor makes the determination, the QIO will call the patient and let the facility know the determination as well. If the determination is that the patient should stay, the facility will continue care. If the determination is that Medicare will no longer pay for continued services, the QIO will let the patient know when they may have to start paying for their services and give the reason why the doctor gave that determination. Some things that the doctor may look at to make the determination could be if the patient still has a fever while in the hospital or if they have not met their physical therapy goals at the skilled nursing facility as examples. The QIO will also ask the patient why he or she does not feel ready to leave the hospital, and that information can be very important to the doctor in making the decision. A common question that is asked is whether the patient can remain at the facility during the appeal. The answer is yes. If the patient is in a facility, he or she should stay put until they receive the appeals results from the QIO. If a patient loses the first appeal, There is a second level of appeal that a patient can request known as a reconsideration, but there is no financial protection during that second appeal. The reconsideration time frame for hospital appeals is three days, and for skilled service appeals, it is 14 days. There are actually more levels of appeal after that, but they only address financial issues, and the patient would not be allowed to stay in the facility during those appeals. If the patient continues to stay at the hospital after the QIO find he or she should leave, the hospital may give a notice known as a HINN-12 to let the patient know that he or she may have to pay to continue to stay there. The post-acute setting, such as a skilled nursing facility, may give a notice known as the Advanced Beneficiary Notice of Non-Coverage, or ABN, for short for that purpose. These are both forms that a patient would be given if he or she stays after having the appeal denied. One other helpful tip during the appeal process is that the QIO has a case status tool on their website. This tool helps patients follow their case during the entire appeal process. It also gives the determination. 
so patients can know their appeal results and financial liability. The case status tool can be found at www.acentraqio.com backslash case status and is available at all times. For more information about the appeals process, visit the Beneficiary Appeals page on our website. Our helpline is also available to answer questions about the appeals process. And if a patient has questions about the determination and the phone numbers for each region are available at acentraqio.com 